Yeah, I think the importance of assisting migrants really uh, comes from our dedication and uh, faithfulness to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We decided that really it was a much bigger uh, undertaking than simply the Catholic Charities uh, workers across the United States. And I knew that people along the, the border uh, needed a lot of help. So with that in mind, I contacted the Leadership Conference of Women Religious to say, um, you know, would you be willing to uh, help us at the border, either as volunteers or with monetary uh, uh, donations? Because we knew that this crisis was beyond what we could do ourselves. When I first received the invitation from Sister Donna, I, my immediate feeling was one of kind of hopefulness and elation and a, a sort of a, maybe I could do this now. Because I've been, in the past I've thought of it and I've always been too busy. I've been working full time and now I'm semi-retired. So it was like, my heart kind of leapt. So there are many people, including some Catholics, who, who really don't think we should be welcoming people who are coming across the border. Uh, obviously, you know, every person who walks through these doors has not just one story, but a lot of stories. They have a family story. They have a, a work or a job story. They have a, a fear story. Uh, many of them want to talk about their families. It's very, it's very hard for them to talk about the journey. We baptized a little baby, a three-month-old here, a few weeks ago. Uh, she's hopefully now safely in a state on the East Coast with her sponsoring family. The baby was uh, a beautiful little girl, and the mother was very afraid to continue her journey. But she still fears for her life. She fears they will find her, and she fears for her daughter's life. And uh, The congregation that day was a motley crew of other refugees, some who had not yet had a shower myself, a couple of staff, staff members, uh, a cook, and we got that baby baptized and everybody clapped. I think perhaps the most rewarding part of this work uh, these couple of weeks has simply been meeting our brothers and sisters who are fleeing violence and, and looking for safety. Getting to know them as people, as mothers and fathers, little children, uh, those on a, on a long journey seeking uh, safety for the most part, food, shelter. They want to be helpful as much as they can. If they see one of us sweeping, they want to take the broom and help. They're just good people.